in so far as the performance summary is concerned our sales and revenue from operations for the quarter uh, ended 30th september have grown by 10% uh, as against 131 billion rupees in the previous year q2 we are at 145 billion in the q2 of the current year and on a six monthly basis it notches up to 270.65 billion rupees up by 8% over the 251 billion rupees of the h1 of the previous year export sales have grown well as you can see 32% of the revenue from the current uh, uh, current quarters uh, sales have come in through exports so you see a growth from 27 billion rupees to 36 billion rupees and for the half year export sales have grown by 47% moving from 47 billion rupees to 69 billion rupees. The manufacturing, construction and operating expenses have risen by 8% for the quarter ended September and by 6% for the half year ended 30th September. What is uh, uh, discernible is they lag the rate at which the revenues have been growing and that is good sign because it does reflect certain softening of the input costs. Staff costs have increased by 22% both for the quarter ended September as well as the half year ended September. A couple of reasons. One is because of the growing order book, we are ramping up our staff for execution on the project front. So consequently, we have added about 4,000 people uh, as of 30th September when compared to 30th September of the previous year. Secondly, with increasing internationalization, many more of our people are getting deputed overseas and they're being paid overseas deputation allowances which is in addition to the Indian salaries. So consequently, the impact of these overseas deputation also has a role. And third and the foremost is, uh, all of us on our daily lives are experiencing the spiraling inflation and the strong wave of retail inflation makes it obligatory for us to pay higher than normal increments to retain our talent. Uh, insofar as sales administration and other expenses are concerned, uh, the Number for the quarter ended 30th September is 7.99 billion rupees, up from 5.29 billion rupees of the previous uh, second quarter. And for the half year, it is at 13.64 billion rupees, up from 11 billion rupees. The increase in sales and admin and other expenses are largely on account of the mark to market provisions that we have been required to make in so far as our forex exposures are concerned, which are unedged. As you all know, we have a policy of hedging the exposures but no hedge policy does prescribe 100% hedging. And when you are up with volatility of the kind that we have seen, where the entire previous year rupee dollar depreciated by 7%, and the first six months of the current year, rupee dollar has depreciated by 15%. And if you uh, look at euro, the entire previous year, rup euro uh, rupee depreciated by 2%, and in the current year, it has depreciated by 21%. These are extraordinary times and hence some of the extraordinary provisioning requirements uh, are, are required to be made. Uh, consequent to the increase in staff costs and the increase in the volatility in the currency markets leading to provisioning, we have a flat EBITDA for both the quarter two as well as for the half year. The quarter two EBITDA is at 14 billion rupees, uh, very much similar to the previous year, second quarter. And for the half year, it's at 24 billion rupees again similar to the way it was in the previous half year.